Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video where today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a controller that isn't working in games, but is working in a joypad tester. The reason that this happens is that your controller is likely a direct input gamepad rather than an X input one. Certain software like Minecraft and Terraria doesn't support direct input gamepads. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your computer think that you have an X input gamepad instead. Let's go. <laughs> you're going to want to do guys is come to the first link in the description with this vi gem website here and we're going to come to this latest setup.exe down here it's a nice github page so you can just scroll down and find this setup right here click on it to download it once it's done downloading you can click on that file to open it up and you can just hit next i already have it installed but what you would do is you would go through and install it like a normal program. Next what you're going to do is come to the second link in the description with this X output program. What we're going to do is scroll down and find the latest release, xoutput.zip. Right now the latest release is 3.28 so I'll just click on the zip and download it. Once we have that we can open up a file explorer window right here and find a good place to install it. I'm just going to put it into a folder that I have on my D drive called D apps and then I'll make a new folder for X output and here we go let's go inside it and then we will click on X output open it right up and there will be an exe file which we can just extract to our X output folder once you've done that we can close out of our zip and you can even delete it if you want although I'm just gonna leave it in my downloads folder we can also close out of a web browser and now what we're gonna do is we're going to open xoutput.exe. If we get a smart screen, we can just run it anyway. This is not a virus. Now what you should see is you should see this window popping up here, and whenever you touch something on your keyboard or click a button on your mouse, they'll be flashing. But that's not what we're going to worry about. We're going to worry about our gamepad. The gamepad that I currently have is called PC Gamepad. If you only see one gamepad, that's likely the one you have plugged in. And if you don't have it plugged in, just plug it right in and you can hit this refresh button right here but now what we're going to do is we're going to add a virtual game controller right here so we can just hit add controller and it'll be called controller now what we're going to do is edit it and we will map our direct input to controller to this virtual X input one what we can do to do that is just scroll down and do configure all but first I'm just gonna give it a name so we're gonna call this uh, PS4 controller because I am using a PS4 controller here. Now what we're going to do is just do configure all and it'll say waiting for input for A so press your A button waiting for input for B you can press the B button and X and Y LB and you can see the buttons flashing on the controller if you're not sure what these buttons are. When the joystick is flashing you can just push it in like that so we'll do the left joystick then the right one and we'll do start and select and home and now when it does this you're gonna to want to push it to the left and then to the right so left right and LY will push it up and then down and then left right up down so remember to do it in that exact order and everything will work nicely Then we can hit our left trigger right trigger and up on the d-pad down on the d-pad left on the d-pad right on the d-pad once that's all done you can just close out of this window and remember to hit save configuration so that when you close the program and open it up you won't have to remap everything again so we'll just click that right there and you should see a settings.json appear you won't really need to do anything with that just you know it worked if there's a settings.json once that's all done all you have to do is hit start on this PS4 controller right here for the controller that you set up and you should hear the sound of a controller connected to your computer after that is all done you can just open up your game of choice so I'm gonna go for Minecraft and now that we're in Minecraft, you'll be able to see that I can use my controller just like normal. And if we go out and we hit stop, then the controller is no longer working. Now, if your controller still isn't working, just try restarting your game. And if it still doesn't work, you can contact me in the comments or on Discord. But once we're actually in our game, you can see I'm um, in Minecraft here. You might notice that there's a slight problem. Obviously, you can't see this because you don't know what I'm pressing, but when I press down on the joystick, it looks up, and when I press up, it goes down. So if you're having any problems like that, what you can do is simply 
go back into your X output here and we can stop our controller edit it and just go over to our right joystick on the Y axis and press invert and we can start our controller again and I'm gonna have to restart Minecraft but once I've restarted Minecraft you'll be able to see or rather you won't be able to see but I'll be able to see that the joystick works just like normal you can look around up down however we want and that guys pretty much wraps up this video thank you so much for watching if it helped you remember to hit the like button and maybe even subscribe hope to see you again soon have a nice day